In this video, I'm going to show you how to split a transaction in Xero. So the first step is to log into your Xero account and then head to the dashboard. Now from your dashboard, you can actually go ahead and click on the reconcile uh, 32 items or whatever amount of items you need to reconcile right on this uh, business bank account report. Uh, this is dependent on what account you have in your Xero account and the amount of items that need reconciliation. But basically, this will already take you to the list of all the items that you need to reconcile. Or you can also head to the accounting tab right here and then select bank accounts and then choose the account that you wish to see the amount of items that needs reconciliation. So it's the same thing. Just go ahead and click on the blue button. And once we're at the reconciliation page, we're just going to look for the transaction that we wish to split. So we're just going to scroll down until we find one that we could use as an example. Maybe this one right here. This is for Ridgeway University. And we can see that there is a receivable amount of 6,187.50. So the left side would be for the payables and the right side would be for the receivables. So what we're going to do from here is we're just going to look for this find and match button right beside the transaction. And if we click that, it should open a list. And then from this list, we're just going to look for the matching transaction right here. It also says Ridgeway University and the amount matches. If we check further, we can see that there is a split option. So for example, if for any reason you need to split the amount into maybe a part payment or something, then you can just go ahead and click on this and it will prompt us to input the part payment that we need to record for this transaction. So let's say maybe around 3000. If we click on split, this will now split the amount. As you can see here, we have one for 3000 and there's another one for 3187.50 which together will total the amount that we originally had on our transaction. Now, similarly, if you wish to undo this, you can just click on unsplit and the amount should be totaled together and it should already be recorded into a single transaction. But basically, again, if you want to split it and just uh, input a specific part payment amount, you just click the button Type in the amount that you need to uh, split from the total and then click split and it's already, it should already do the job for you. And that's about it. That's how you split a transaction in Xero. If you have any questions, please let me know down in the comments below and I'll do my best to help you out.